Bugatti La Voiture Noire with a price tag of $13.4 million, the one-off Bugatti La Voiture Noire is officially the most expensive new Bugatti ever made, and understandably so. A modern interpretation of Jean Bugatti's personal Type 57 SC Atlantic, the La Voiture Noire uses the same quad-turbocharged 8.0-liter W16 engine as the Chiron, producing 1,479 horsepower. It has six, that's right, six exhaust tips, radical new wheels, an aggressive, bespoke fascia, and a gigantic light-up badge in the rear that spells out the name of the brand. Of course, this one-of-one one Bugatti already has a home. Bugatti debuted the Santa Diasai at last year's Pebble Beach Car Week, showing off yet another ultra-rare, super-expensive model to the world. Limited to just 10, Diasai units, the car is a modern throwback to the Bugatti EB110. At the same time, it's meant to celebrate Bugatti's momentous 110-year anniversary. Its unique styling cues won't make everyone fall in love, but at least you won't have to worry about seeing another one on the road. Carrying a price just shy of $9 million, the Sentides is one of the most exclusive cars ever made. The long list of pricey, new, Pagani's ends with the Cajolunga. Inspired by 1960s Italian coach building, the stunning exterior and steampunk-esque interior, while equally stunning, are only part of what makes this Pagani so pricey. Under the hood is a twin-turbocharged 6.0-liter V12 producing 829 horsepower and 809 pound-feet of torque, paired to a 7-speed sequential transmission for a real race car like feel. The cost for this one of five Pagani is $7.4 million. SP Automotive, short for Spiros Panopoulos, is a new name in the world of hypercars, but the brand's 2,000 horsepower, $6.4-million, aptly named Chaos has already made an impact. With a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V10, the base SP Automotive Chaos is one of the most expensive cars on this list, beating out many Lambos and Bugattis. But there's an even pricier version of this car that costs an eye-watering $14.4 million. That version reportedly packs 3,000 horsepower. Among Bugatti's recently debuted vehicles, the Devo is a staff favorite. Though it shares much in common with its cheaper, sibling the Chiron, the Devo has a lot going for it to justify the extra money. By adding lighter wheels, a carbon fiber intercooler, and removing some sound deadening, Bugatti made the Devo 77 pounds lighter than the Chiron. Though power is unchanged from the Chiron's 1,500 ponies, 1,119 kilowatts, the Devo features a different aerodynamic setup, which makes it 8 seconds quicker around the Nardo test track. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, Bugatti is making 40 examples of the car, each costing $5.8 million. Even though the new Utopia marks the next big step for Pagani, the Huayra Imola packs nearly as much power with a twin-turbocharged 6.0-liter V12 engine producing 827 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. The Huayra Imola is estimated to cost around $5.4 million new, which would make it the second most expensive Pagani of all time. The Bugatti Mistral sends the iconic W16 engine off in style. With 1,577 horsepower and no roof, the Mistral takes the best bits of the Chiron and Boros elements from the Bolide and Devo to create a truly unique roadster. Of course, Bugatti plans to build just 99 examples of the Mistral at the cost of around $5.0 million in the US, and all of them are already accounted for. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for new updates. It will give me motivation, and write your feedback in the comments section.